Right now, you're going to watch an important BWB episode that's going to give you basically a q and I'm going to share with you my insights, my thoughts, and everything. I want you to first, though, before you watch the video, I want you to comment below. Let me know what questions, insights that you have as you're watching it. Uh, comment below on the answers to this question that you're about to see. And also, any questions that you have, you want me to answer on future BWB episodes. I'm watching all the specific comments that you have. I'm going to comment, I'm going to read, and go through that as well. Thanks for watching. Do I need a unique or special idea to start an online business? I think you need a unique or special idea to, to be successful. I think a lot of it just goes into, you know, right now, like right now at this time, there's a lot of things that are really popular, like with AI and like uh, robotics, uh, VR, blockchain technology, Bitcoin. I think there are trends that you can follow and you want to be in specific industries and niches instead of the idea. So for example, there's a person I was talking to before that was building a business in the fitness space. Now, if you go on, let's say Google Trends, you can go on there, you can find out like certain things on the trends that people are searching for on Google. You can find out like what's happening on the trends, what's the most popular things. You go on the trends, you type in the, the fitness space, you type in like whatever space you want to be in. Uh, trying to gather my, okay, so principles wise, it's, there's only three ways to focus on actually building the business side. These are the products, services, or a hybrid of both. So either anything fits in with those three buckets, it's more important for you to pick the specific industry or niche, the target audience. Like for example, the space that I'm in that you guys know is digital marketing. You know, you do not want to be in a space where you're competing with marketers on how to sell to other marketers or B2B. I think it's a very uh, competitive and tough landscape, especially when you're doing marketing. If I were to do what I'm doing now, apply my skill set, which is what I'm doing, in a completely different space, let's say on the trading space or in the fitness space, I would be able to exponentially grow much faster than if I were to focus on the digital marketing space, just because everyone in the space is basically saying the exact same thing, where they're selling courses, or selling eBooks, and on all this other stuff on digital marketing. But if I apply, let's say, the, the strategies and the growth principles for clients in different spaces, you see an exponential ROI and return in those spaces. So I wouldn't focus more so much on the idea, I would focus more on the trends and also the niches and the spaces that you want to tap into. Right now, blockchain, cryptocurrency, that stuff is hot. I think it's a bubble personally, in my personal opinion. I think it's something that's gonna blow up because the, it's, it's not backed by anything. It's essentially very volatile, which means that it's really based on people's opinion, people's uh, vote on what it is. That's just what I think, because it's not backed by anything and also it's not a store of wealth, which means it's not like money where it's backed by gold or silver. And the third thing is that it actually isn't a transfer of buying goods or services. So you can't go to crypto right now, other than online, you can't go to Starbucks and say, hey, I wanna give you 0 0.60 Bitcoin, whatever it is, the amount, and to buy like a, a grande or something. So right now, those three things, the most important factors of actual money isn't being fulfilled by cryptocurrency yet. What I'm more interested in is actually the blockchain technology side. As an idea, that's something that I could get behind from what my limited understanding of that is. So it's not so much the idea, focus on the trends, the industry and the space, the target audience that you're going for. It's so interesting when you work with so many different companies and you see like the principles, the strategies and tactics that apply to one space, how much exponential growth and the, the difference that it happens when you apply it to a completely different industry. So let me give you a tangible example. Um, for me, doing a webinar in the digital marketing space, if a webinar was a way to generate more traffic, generate more leads, and also convert them into actual um, on sales or applications or clients, I could drive, let's say, 500 people to the webinar and it would cost me like five, 10 grand. But if I did it in a, a completely different space, in the fitness space for a client right now, it actually costs us $1,000. Same webinar, same process, same strategies for traffic, for leads, and for sales, but when we apply it to a completely different industry, you're able to generate a much lower, um, much lower cost to acquire a specific registrant to that webinar and a higher uh, revenue ROI per the ad spend that you're doing. That's because it's just a different industry, right? B2C, B2B. And it's also in a different uh, niche as well, the fitness versus the digital marketing business space. So focus more on the space and the industry versus the actual idea behind it, the trend in the industry.